Hey everybody, this is Random Fix, and in today's video we're going to be discussing smart chargers. So we have the Victron Blue Smart Charger here, and I bought a few chargers when I was looking for something that could go ahead and handle my 1160 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. And after buying a few and trying them out, I decided to stick with this. And this is going to be the 30 amp version, and it's got three different outputs. And what that means is we got a total of three different positive ports right there that you connect to and one common negative port. And then we have a 40 amp fuse and there is a little cover that pops over that exposed area there. So it looks a little bit nicer. And this thing's pretty cool because you control it via app. It does have some buttons here, but I really do like the application. And I've gone ahead and wired mine up with one XT60 connector and also a larger XT90 connector so if you want to go ahead and get yourself some nice 8 gauge or 10 gauge cable that would definitely be recommended so I'm going to go ahead and slap this back in the car once I put the cover back in we'll go ahead and activate it and I'll talk a little bit more about how easy this is to mount and the size of this is actually really nice. So you guys will get a chance to see this inside the battery bay. And we're going to go and try out that app. And I can tell you guys all the cool little things that I've discovered about it. And some things you probably want to know about this unit before you purchase it. So definitely stay tuned. And if I talk about anything in this video guys, just make sure you know that I'll have a link down in the video description down below. So whether you're looking to go ahead and install this or you want to install a stealth shore power connector like that right there or setting up an inverter with an automatic transfer switch i'm going to have all those links down below so this is going to be your one-stop shop to get all your electrical connectors and batteries built and i made this particular pack right here for 600 dollars, and that includes the bms the balancer the wires and everything else that you need including the cells and the box for 600 so check out those links Every now and then you're going to need to top off your batteries and in order to do that you're going to need a battery charger. So I have a short power plug here that goes to an automatic transfer switch and that goes and automatically powers up my battery charger. And so this video is going to be about the Victron 30 amp battery charger that you can use for flood acid batteries, AGM batteries and also lithium ion phosphate batteries. So I have 1120 amp hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries in my vehicle. And this is the charger right here that I use. And so far, it's been an amazing charger for the last year, and I've had no issues. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the actual charger here. And that way, you guys could know if it's the right unit for you. And also, I'm going to jump behind the app here. So that way, you guys will get a better idea of what the app can do. And also, if you guys want to find out how this gets powered on automatically, when I plug my van into Shore Power, I'll have a whole playlist for you guys in the video description down below. So hey guys, this is the app here. This is on an Android version and the app is free. You can get it for the Play Store or the iOS Store. And it's a nice app because you can list all of your Victron devices on one screen, which I really like. However, you can only connect with one device at a time. And we're gonna go and select this particular charger. If you guys wanna check out the battery shunt, which I highly recommend, go ahead and do so. And you guys will find those links down below. And let's choose this battery charger right here and you can see that my current state is going to be storage and this charger is completely customizable which is really nice and i'll show you guys that right now so let me show you guys this main screen here we have a status a graph and a history and we have a customization screen here so you can change the kind of battery you're using and also the output of the charger so i'm charging at 30 amps i have a custom profile running and there is going to be a night mode over here. Basically, the fan is going to stay off in the night mode. And then we have the advanced settings here. And the advanced settings are going to allow you to do a little bit more. So if we enter here, you can choose now the lithium iron phosphate. And do not choose lithium if you're running a lithium iron phosphate battery. And now I can go ahead and adjust the current amount. I could also change any of the voltage settings. And then I have a low temperature cutoff at the very bottom. So if your batteries don't have that, this is going to handle that for you. And it's awesome. 
I'm also able to save this. I'm able to download it. And then I could also do a product information here and we can hit defaults. There is gonna be this option down here for the VE Smart Network. I don't use this, but if you're gonna go crazy and start getting a cellular plan to go remotely monitor your Bluetooth devices, you can. And it really takes the frustration out of charging your lithium iron phosphate batteries. And in case you guys were curious about the charger here, this will not allow you to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery and a battery of a different chemistry at the same time. Even though it has the three connection ports, it's all supposed to be for the same battery chemistry. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, check out the whole Vanville playlist here because I really cover everything from start to finish. And I'm here to answer any questions you guys got. You'll find links to the battery charger, the battery shunt, or anything else that I recommend, including the DC to DC converter and the video link down below. Make it a great day.